run this time. Have a bike right there. Yeah, right, we'll take it And we're straight into the action here. We've played about a minute into the opening quarter. Pearsdale into attack, well punched away there. That was by Paddy Boland, and the ball goes over the line and out of bounds. So uh, the Panthers kicking towards the pavilion end here at Devon Meadows. Nobody won a decisive tap there. O'Hare, he was able to rove his own work. Little Adam Avard's in there as well, not so little anymore. And he gets brought to ground, locked up. In fact, I think he might have got himself a free kick. Uh, it was uh, holding the ball in the ruck, so uh, he kicks the ball. O'Hare's still arguing with him. The ball goes over the line. Uh, no, it's a mark being taken down there. About 50 metres around from goal. It's Chris Hensby who's got it. He's been in terrific form this season for the Panthers, Hensby. So he's just looking up the ground. Plenty of players moving for him. It's going to be a tough pocket to kick goals from this afternoon. Hensby has a flying shot at goal. He might have pushed it across the face. He has through for a minor score. So the Panthers first on the board. Well, they're all Panthers out here today. There's 36 of them, in fact, uh, on the ground. But uh, it's the Dales who get the first score, and that's a behind. So we play on immediately. They've got the ball def deep in defence. Don't want to waste it here. Devon Meadows, they go up the line, good kick, but uh, good mark taken in the front of the pack there, it was terrific work, so the Panthers play on through the centre of the ground now, size these options, that was Gavin Becker, goes long, Daniel Murray coming back, he's got the sit, couldn't take the mark, Murray off the ground, kick it up towards the goal square, but the ball goes over the line and out of bounds. So a good start there for Pierce Dale, a couple of forward entries already. Three, in fact, Geordie King is with us this afternoon, thanks to SBI Quarry. Marked Focus looking after us with the scoreboard today, so uh, the umpire uh, has found a free kick. It's going Pierce Dale's way, directly in front of goal. Not sure what that one was for. In the back. In the back, says Geordie King. But it looks like Matthew Vag down there, who's got a, he's going to take the free kick, and he's right in front of goal. Point blank range. Shouldn't miss his Tally. No, he's a beautiful kick of the footy, is Maka Vag. Just lining him up. So this for the first goal of the match. The Jim's Test and Tag match of the round. Matthew Vag. He's um, taking his time. He is. For, for about a metre out. <laughs> Anyone think he's about 93 metres out. Comes in now. Kicks the goal. Just to start that. Pierce Star, one of they kicked the first goal of the match. It's 1-1-7 leading. Devon Meadows yet to score. You're listening to RWP, the voice of Peninsula Football. Look handsome, gold medal swimmer and victim of electric shock. In 2007, I suffered a severe electric shock in a workplace accident, something I never want to experience again. I am now committed to electrical safety in the workplace and the services provided by Jim's Test and Tag. Jim's Test and Tag will test your workplace electrical equipment for faults and assist with your compliance to OH&S. Jim's Test and Tag. Gold medalist in electrical safety. Call 131 Jim. That's 131546. Or log on to jimstestandtag.com.au. Dale starting beautifully down here at the moment. Carlet Foggy goes in, gets a little handball out. Nobody can. Uh in there's Hensby, he gets a little handball out, Cad's got it now, the coach goes in short, lovely kick, and I think he found the big muzz. Daniel Murray's there, long way out from goal. Oh, it decides to sell a bit of candy. Got uh, ability mixed up with uh, something else on that occasion. Macavag pushed out. The umpire said no. Down there, it looks like Adams. Little left foot chip out. Lovely kick it was too. And he finds Jace Henderson, who's got the ball on defensive 50. So Devon Meadows... Yet to be forward of centre, looking for Callum O'Hare. Went for the mark. Ben Kidd calling for it to be out of bounds on the full. It's been given a par free kick, Tally, for in the back. So uh, that should be a free kick. Somebody's come out of that pack pretty ginger too. It looks like uh, Big Mitchell on the full it is. Uh, there's a free kick down there. Free kick down there to uh, to Devon Meadows. And a 50 metre penalty. So you've got to take advantage of this. This is Ash Adams. He's been in terrific form for Devon Meadows this year. 
it's going to be the first time, Toby, that the Panthers are going to enter inside the 50, so this will be interesting. Important Calamo here today. Very. Mobile player, that's a beautiful looking kick, goes to the point of the square, at the back, punched away, for the ball, good play there, Boom Gartner has a snap at goal, I think oh, it looks alright, no. does it? No. No, across the face, Toby. Just pushed it across the face, so through for a minor score. Just not enough uh, numbers down at the fall of the ball then for the Panthers. Uh, quick to um, quick to get it, uh, Boom Gartner, but uh, yeah, just off offline there. So the ball comes out again, looking for Big Mitchell. He's got the oh. set. Went for the. I reckon he's going to be paid uh, in the back. It will. So Ben Mitchell gets the free kick. No, it's going back to Callum O'Hare. So O'Hare's got it now. Half forward. The umpire just waving the wrong way there. He's got to go back to O'Hare. They're going to stop messing around with it here. The Panthers go in deep. That's a lovely looking lovely kick. Lovely kick. Magnificent stuff. And Callum O'Hare has started beautifully so far for Devon Meadows. I think O'Hare today, Toe, is going to be the key for the Panthers. I think with his height. Uh, and last time we ventured out this way, he was uh, in their best for sure. So he, keep an eye on him today, I reckon. Well, he's got to try and run around Ben Mitchell and Pat Gamble today. They're the Ruckman for... Uh, here Stahl, not as mobile as O'Hare, so he can really cut them up, especially when he pushes forward. So the pan uh, Devon Meadows, it's not a great kick off the boot through for a minor score. That was off the boot, of course, of Chris Doria, so it's another behind. They move on to two behinds. Pier Stahl, one goal, one seven. Now the Panthers need to try and lock it in now, Towie. They can't let this ball get out. Well, they haven't done a very good job of no, it they uh, because they're uh, getting get it out of here pretty easy. <laughs> that was an uncontested mark. Another short chip was nice. So the Pierce Dale just taking their time at the moment. Come to the near side. Pat Chin, he's got to try and get it. He put enough pressure on, though, to lock the ball inside 50. Good work there by Pat Chin. And the ball goes over the line out of bounds. Member side of the ground. As we said, Devon Meadows kicking towards the pavilion end of this ground. So in the ruck, big push in the back there. Free kick could have gone down there towards Ryan Talbot. The umpire said no, but once again, they work it out beautifully. Pierce Dale through Chris Hensby. Goes to the outer side. Foggy takes the mark. Plays on immediately. Goes wide. He's got a couple of players out there. Douglas is one of them. Picks the ball up now. Sold some candy. Flying shot at goal. Wasn't his best effort. And he pushed it across the face through for a minor score. No, it's rolled out of bounds. I think left forward pocket for Pierce Dale. Good result for the Panthers then. Pierce Dale just too quick down the ground and uh, able to move that ball very quickly and caught uh, caught the Panthers by surprise, Towie. So, Pierce Dale lead by five points. The ball gets thrown in. Plenty of players around the ball. There's O'Hare again. Clever little handball out was good. Gave it to Dory. He's calling some players up the ground. They're locking him in though. They want to maintain possession. O'Hare grabs it, takes the mark. Not sure it was 15, but the umpire no. gave him the benefit of the doubt. So uh, O'Hare, we're not following him this afternoon in terms of stats, but he's had plenty already. Goes to the wide side of the ground. That's a lovely kick to bowl, and he can get on his bike, decides to stop and prop. Plenty of players making some moves for him. That's a lovely kick mm. too to the centre of the ground. Lovely kick, Baumgartner. How many's he had, Geordie? This is his second. Second possession for Baumgartner. Goes in towards Adams. Bad kick. Oh. Good work there by Luke Murray. Played on. Kicked the ball out wide. Vag's got some space now. Kicks the ball up towards full forward. Mount Murray goes for it. That's Daniel Murray, but punched away by far from him. Was terrific defensive pressure. And uh, the ball goes over the line and out of bounds. Great pressure by the uh, Panthers' defence there. <coughs> so the umpire. Last time we were here, Koala's knocked off a footy. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what happens today. Fortnum gets a little handball back. Makavag kicks it up the line. It's not a greatest kick, though. And going in and taking a mark. Oh, Adam Mavard got one uh, boot right in the face then. So uh, he's in a bit of strife down there. Devon Meadows decide to switch play. It was good. Maintaining possession. Sweeping handball across. Gives Dory an opportunity now. He's again calling players up the line. Wants some uh, support. Chris Doria gets a handball now no, to no one in particular. He really put his teammate there in Heath Black under enormous pressure and the ball eventually goes over the line out of bounds. They did a similar thing. Devon Meadows against Summerall, didn't they? Just yeah. walking around with the yeah, footy across the Yeah, they did, Towie. And it wasn't until the second quarter where they really switched on and started moving the ball. And that's when they came in the contest against Summerall. It was. Boland, he went without it. Uh, Avard could have got uh, legged. It wasn't Avard, in fact. That's Andrew Knight over there. In 
<clears throat> at half forward. So he's got the ball now. Goes in short. Lovely kick. Ah, That's Cad on this occasion. Ben Cad, the coach. He's got players moving for him now. Daniel Murray. One out. Oh. That's a lovely mark. A strong boy, Daniel Murray, when he's one out like that. So they don't, uh, they don't want to be in that position too many no, times. I wouldn't no, have thought Daniel not. Murray being on his own. Murray just uh, overhead mark then. Just uh, had... I mean, really a lot of pressure from his opponent, but uh, just his strength was able to pluck it out of the sky. They've already kicked one. Make that two. He made the yes. umpire do a fair bit of work, but Pearsall have kicked their second goal. They move to 2-1-13. Devon Meadows two behind. You're listening to RPP, the voice of Peninsula football. When you're working in the garden, you need tough, reliable tools that won't let you down. That's why Hastings mowers stock quality brands like Honda, Echo, Toro, Cox, Husqvarna and Shindawa. With a huge range of mowers, brush cutters, chainsaws, shredders, pumps and generators in store. For quality equipment and excellent service, call into our sponsor, Hastings Mowers Superstore at 2013 Frankston Flinders Road, Hastings. Ardell, PFM sponsor. So Pearsdale into attack again, doing all the attacking at the moment. A little handball out was terrific there by Cad. He's got some space out there, Vag. You'd fancy his chances from out there, but it wasn't a great kick off the boot. And it goes over the line and through for a minor score. So Pearsdale at the 10 and a half minute mark of the opening quarter have started very well. 2-1-13, Devon Meadows, two behinds. No breeze to mention of either, just to mention Towie. Uh, so it's, I reckon it's fairly, uh, fairly even either side of the ground. Boland, that was a terrible kick going across the face and allowed Fortnum in. Douglas now has got an opportunity. Right foot snap around the corner. That's He's a kicked goal. it. A big mistake there in the last line of defence there from Devon Meadows. Allows Pearsdale to kick their third. They move to 3-1-19. Devon Meadows, two behinds. Nate Custerson, we welcome him to the broadcast for the first time with this team this afternoon. Oh, wow. What a great time to be down there at ground level. Perfect conditions for footy boys, and it's a fantastic start by Pearsdale. 3 2 20 playing two behinds, early three goal lead. Very good stuff. Absolutely. Got Geordie King here as well, providing statistics as always. SBI Quarry, thanks to SBI Quarry. Who are we looking after this afternoon in terms of players, Geordie? For Devon Meadows, we've got Stefan Baumgartner, Daniel Watson, Ash Adams, Chris Doria, and Alex Doria. For Pearsdale, Chris Hensby, Travis Saw, Chris Fortnum, Pad Cad and Dylan Hall. Okay, so plenty of good players there. We're looking after the Safters. The ball goes in the middle. We might uh, start following Callum O'Hare too, I reckon. He's had about five possessions, no doubt about that. A lovely oh. kick up the line was good to Kerr. So that's better ball movement for Mark back Tully. there from Devon Meadows. They look dangerous when they move the ball quickly. Play on now was good. Good uh, work off the ball there was from O'Hare. The ball no spills over the pack. You've called it right there. There was no one down. That's Young White gets a handball to Cad. Cad gives another handball there towards uh, Travi Saw comes out, but good uh, work there. I reckon that's Armitage, who's got the ball now on the wing position. Member side goes oh, in long now. They're caught behind. Oh. That's a lovely mark there by Ryan Talbot. He had the sit there on Luke Murray and was able to rise when he needed to and take the mark directly in front. They desperately need this one. They do, Towie. Talbot, um, very, very capable in front of the goals. Uh, fantastic kick of the football. He's about uh, 40, 35 out, almost directly in front. So he's about to kick the ball. So Ryan Talbot comes in. That's a not a great ah. kick, though, off the, off the boot. And uh, going back and taking easy mark is sore, I think it is. On that trusty left foot, goes across the face. was a nice kick, too. So they're able to work the ball out. Once again, the Panthers with a bit of ease. They're still inside defensive 50. Adam Avard makes a move for him now. He's got the sit. He's also got some support in Douglas, and Douglas takes the mark. So they've had plenty of possessions, but they're still in defensive 50. Great work there, Baumgartner. Calls the spoil. Going in hard there. Oh, terrific, great pick up. Terrific work there by Mitchell. Follows it up the ball. Well, as Adams oh. got one in the back. The umpire surely saw that one. Yeah. He did. And Ash Adams will take the free kick. About 50 metres out. He's got some... Uh, He's just calling him around, so Ash Adams uh, is a beautiful kick of the football. I think even uh, this would be too far out from him. He's squaring the ball up. It's a lovely kick. He's got the sit here. Couldn't take the mark. That was Heath Black. Comes down to O'Hare. Gives a little handball off. Gave a kick. The umpire said you took too long. And the free kick will go down there towards Knight. Knight to Cad. Cad it is. Ben Cad kicks the ball up towards centre half forward. Murray caught out of position. Couldn't take the mark. Good little handball there. Came from Daniel Watson. But Carlin Foggy. Kicks the ball off the ground, couldn't pick it up, ball didn't sit for him, they dive on top of it now, Matthew Vags in there, going in there also uh, is Jace Henderson, and uh, Thorns in there as well, 
Alex Doria, so there's plenty of numbers around the footy at the moment. Half forward for Pearsdale. They lead three goals, 220 to two behinds. Pushing the back, surely a free kick. The umpire calls play on now. One bounce around the wing position, handballs it to himself under uh, too much pressure there, but he's got the pace to keep going. That's terrific work. I think that's Bauer it was. And uh, he's took too long, in yeah. fact, the umpire said. But great work there by Aaron Bauer just to work the ball around the boundary line. It was Towie, but he just took on too much, I think. And um, the, big, uh, the big Ben Mitchell just uh, stopped him in his tracks. So Mitchell gave the ball off. A little kick in was good to Matty White. So White, underrated backman for Pearsdale, does his job every week, goes in short. He's got plenty of time there, they've just got some time to work it out. Douglas it is, who kicks the ball, uh, Knight I think it was in fact, who kicked the ball and uh, the disposal not great again coming out of the back line from the, uh, the Pearsdale side. Out of bounds on the full in, in, uh, in fact, Tully. So a little short kick, there's another not a great kick either, puts uh, Alex Dory under all sorts of problems, great work there by Matty White, he got uh, tackled straight away in there is Mitch Smith, he couldn't do anything with it, trying to come out of it there was Tommy Cotton, the umpire said give it to me, we'll restart play, half forward line. Devon Meadows into attack, they need a goal, they're two behinds, Pearsdale 3-2-20. Little handball out was good. That was from Mitch Smith. Another one further up the line. Cad Benz had plenty of it. Gave it to Douglas tonight. Gives another one off to Dylan Hoare who kicked it up the line. It wasn't a great kick though. And I reckon that's Daniel Watson down there. It is who's taking yeah. the mark at half back. For Devon Meadows goes in short. Old Meadow takes it. <coughs> He's got the strapping on the uh, right shoulder. So we'll be able to pick him out all afternoon. Gives a little handball off. The umpire says yes, play on. So the ball goes up towards half forward. Chin comes out, couldn't take the mark. Good work there. That was defence by Bose. Little right foot kick around the corner, all by himself. Standing there was Dylan Hall. Left foot kick goes into the centre ground. Pat Cad it is now. Little handball off was good. Gave it to Becker. Becker goes further outside, looking for Carlin Foggy at half forward. Tried to get the afterburners on. Pat Cad gets it back. Still just forward of centre the Pearsdale side kicked it up towards full forward couldn't take the mark that was Becker I think who followed his ball up he was tackled there by Watson they dive on top of him Old Meadow goes into support now he needs to get it the umpire said throwing the ball and the free kick's going to go down there towards Pearsdale not sure who's going to take that I reckon it, it might have been against Tom Cotton can you pick up uh, who that is uh, over there Nate. Looks like Knight from over here. It could be. I guess. <laughs> Andrew Knight. Tough kick anyway. It is. He's up against the boundary line. He was the one that started the play from half back, so he moved himself nicely. Kicked it to the front of the square. They come out. There he is again, Matthew Vag. He's going to cause him some headaches today, Matthew Vag. He's mobile, jumps at the footy. Massive work rate, can work up and down the ground. So uh, his opponent will know he's played a game of football this afternoon. He's been in pretty good form, Nate. That's his bread and butter, those marks like that. Exactly like you say, massive work rate, very fit, had a big pre-season. So he's had a fantastic year at Saint half forward so far for Pierce. They'll make a vag. He's already had a shot short pass today and skew whiffed it. It wasn't the greatest kick, but he's already kicked one. Make that two goals. So they've kicked uh, a couple of goals now. Macavag's playing a key role in this match. That's four goals, two, 26. Leading Devon Meadows, two behinds. You're listening to Arnold P, the voice of Peninsula Football. Brooke Hansen, gold medal swimmer and victim of electric shock. In 2007, I suffered a severe electric shock in a workplace accident, something I never want to experience again. I am now committed to electrical safety in the workplace and the services provided by Jim's Test and Tag. Jim's Test and Tag will test your workplace electrical equipment for faults and assist with your compliance to OH&S. Jim's Test and Tag. Gold medalist in electrical safety. Call 131 Jim. That's 131 546. Or log on to jimstestandtag.com.au. There they are, the Cads and Fortnum working together in the middle of the ground to get the ball out. Ends up with Hensby, goes up the line towards Foggy. Fortnum following up. They, uh, the big there's Vag again. They need to tighten up on him. Comes out there towards Hensby again. He gets another shot at it. Sweeping handball there to Pat Cat up against the boundary line. Right foot snap across the face. Goes over the line out of bounds on the full. But again, the Cad brothers and Chris Fortnum just doing a lot of damage in the middle of the ground. And when the ball goes forward, Matthew Vag's all over them. Absolutely. His ability to uh, to make himself available is uh, quite impressive to watch, Towie. As the ball comes out, great mark there taken there by Pat Harms. 
So Harms got the left shoulder uh, strapped. Old Minnow's got uh, the, the right, right shoulder, shoulder strapped. So uh, again, though, Pearsall able to work the ball out. Sweeping through was uh, the big fella in Paddy Gamble. A big kick for goal. It looks all right off the boot. Uh, Mark's been taken oh. down there anyway. I reckon he's going to be paid. And it's Daniel Murray. Not sure who kicked Short that ball hands. to him. Uh, it was Gamble to Knight by the look of that it was, and it was a fantastic handball, but Gamble coming off it looks like a little injury, limping off. Not, not a chance to pierce, though, they've put their fifth on the board. Not a great start uh, for Devon Meadows, the home side. So coming in to have his second shot for goal is Daniel Murray, booted four, of course, last week in his first game back in the scene is his kick one this afternoon. So uh, that makes five goals to a 32, leading... Devon Meadows, two behinds. Nate, I don't know what you think, mate, but uh, look, I think the Dales at the moment are just being able to uh, to really to control play, aren't they? Uh, the, the Panthers really need to tighten up. Yeah, well, some, starting in the middle of the ground with the clearances. Uh, yeah. As Tully just said, the, the Cads have been getting their hands on the footy, and Ben Cad's been a big out for Pierce over the last few weeks. We're having him back in there. He's that little, that bull gets the, um, the ball out and he gives it to the likes of his brother and Fortnum and Douglas and they're very dangerous when they're allowed to run. So Absolutely. Started very well. So there you go uh, on that occasion. Should have been a free kick uh, in favour of the Panthers oh. on that occasion. Callum O'Hurd, big tackle uh, on him. Comes down to Ben Cad, Kicks it up there towards half forward. Fortnum, little handball out. Vag goes in hard. They wanted a good start uh, Pierce Dale and they've certainly got that. The ball comes out there to little bloke in Aaron Bauer. Sweeping handball to Chin. Puts him under pressure but he's got time to get around, use his skills, yeah. little short ball in was good to Armitage, and Armitage has got the ball in the centre of the ground, there's O'Hare again, he's got the ball, just run with it Callum, as he does, has one bounce, no one coming to him, they do now, right foot kick, up That's towards close. full forward, a bleep, oh! Oh, Gartner, he's come down with a mark, no, he's been paid for too high, and the ball will go down there to the Dales defence, coming out towards the uh, member side, there he is again having a field day, he's Hensby has got the ball, how many uh, stats SBA quarries has he got? He's already got <laughs> nine touches. Nine touches in the opening quarter for Chris Hensby as the ball goes out towards half forward, Vag goes up, couldn't take the mark, his recovery was beautiful, right ah. foot snap was brilliant to pick Pat Cad. He had a little bit of a look, thought he might play on. He did, Toe. He took about three steps then. He should have been pinged for play on then. But uh, he's got the ball. He's probably too far out to score. A known goal kicker, though, is Pat Caddy un unleashes now. That's a lovely looking kick off the boot. Has it got the journey? I reckon it might have. I think the umpire likes what he's seeing. It's another goal to Pierce Dale at it. No. no. What's going he's on signaling. here? I reckon he liked it. I think he's going up to... The replay. Looks like he's oh, a goal. It's a goal. Given it's a goal. goal. That's a massive kick. Massive it is kick. It is. 6 2, a 38, a 2, a 2 behinds. That is on the marked focus scoreboard. Also, uh, uh, SBI Quarry looking after the uh, our fantastic replay screen today. Who's, who's favouring the um? Who's looking at the three two one votes? Looking good already. I have to say, Hensby looking at the the Logie Award. Oh, certainly, certainly in the opening quarter. <laughs> Nine disposals. Uh, give us some of those uh, disposals, thanks to SBI Quarry. All well, Pat Cads had eight as well as Chris Hensby and. Also, Dylan Hawes had five. So, uh, getting plenty of it. The midfielders at the moment. As the ball comes out, comes out to Pat Cat again. Little handball was good. Gave it over there to Jansen. Underrated is Dean Jansen. Going hard at there was Aaron Bow. He's got to use his pace. Run all the way, son. He does. Goes inside. Wasn't a great ah. kick. And Luke Murray takes an easy mark on the last line of defence for the Panthers. Swings it out wide. Little uh, short pass goes in now. Was good. And they're able to work it out. Matty White's got it now. Wants to use somebody. Give it to Avard. Avard just runs around with ease. Drop the ball. Plays on immediately. Good play. Too Goes easy. in short. Terrific work from the 17-year-old. Good work. Goes up towards half forward. They've got the numbers here again. Hensby it was, I think. He gave a little kick towards Knight. Knight gets another one over there towards Bowes. Bowes has his kick smothered. They've got time to pounce, though. That's Mitch Smith. Gives a little handball off to Avard, who started the ball rolling down here. Another little handball towards Bowes. He gets one in the back. Umpire yeah. said play on in the back or too high for the next one, either or. But he's got the free kick. Half forward. For Pierce Dale, they're dominating at the moment. They lead by six goals exactly. Right foot snap around the corner came from Dylan Hall. Don't tell me it's another one. No, it's hit the timber work through for a minor score. 
So uh, how many is that for Dylan Hoare now? That's his sixth. Sixth possession for Dylan Hoare as the ball goes out wide, taking it out there. I think it might be Daniel Watson. He's got the ball for Devon Meadows, goes up the line. No one at the back of the pack. Ryan Talbot's going to get a free kick for high against Luke Murray. So leave him one out, uh, short pass, and he's uh, pretty hard to stop, Ryan Talbot. Absolutely. He's getting really. the ball quicker to him. Yeah, exactly. They're just taking too long. It's like deja vu, Tully. Ash Adams has got the ball. He's sold himself into a heap of trouble. Great tackle there. Foggy's able to pounce on it now for the Dales. Goes up towards full forward. That's a beautifully oh. executed kick. Daniel Murray just had the jukes out and took it as easy as you like. Great lead by the big Daniel Murray then. He was like a steam train then. Fantastic to see. It was. 25 minutes gone in the opening quarter. I think he's already kicked one. Or has he kicked two? So he's going for goal number three. As we said, kicked four goals last week. Coming to replace Paddy Hayden. They thought they were missing something with him. Not in the side. That's a very up and under kick. But I reckon it's pretty straight, is it? It is. They yeah. like it. The Dales are celebrating. It's another one. It's an avalanche here in the Jim's mm. Test of Tag match of the round. 7-2-44. Pearsdale, Devon Meadows, two behind. You're listening to RPP, the voice of Peninsula Football. <laughs> Boss Sports are the lawn bowl specialists, but did you know they also specialise in golf and tennis? At their new location at Shop 2, 1002 to 1004 McPean Highway, Mornington, they now have an indoor bowls green, a golf club fitting centre and a driving range. Need a new racket? Try before you buy, right there in the store. Boss Sports are also your Nike golf specialists, featuring the latest Tiger Woods range. Stay tuned for details about their big family fun day coming up in June. For more, call 5976-4728. Buzz Sports, a station sponsor. So the ball back into attack again for Pearsdale. There's Vag. Oh, it's a oh. lovely kick. And a lovely mark too by Vag. He's dominating out there. Watson's got the job on him. He takes the mark at half forward. Kicks the ball inside. Too easy once again. And uh, no one's matched up Mitch Smith. And he just waltzes in and takes the easiest of marks. They're just able to get away with too much Pearsdale at the moment. They're really looking the goods. Uh, but in saying that, the Panthers just need to tighten up a bit, move that ball a bit quicker. So Mitch Smith hasn't kicked one this afternoon. They've kicked seven though, Pearsdale. It's a nice looking kick. He started Coming it back. right. It's working its way left. It's not going to get the journey. Punch down to the fore of the ball. Right foot snap for goal was far too easy. Kevin Becker was just front and centre and kicks number eight. Well, it's becoming a rout. 8-3, 51 to two behinds. And uh, yet another goal kicker there, Gavin Becker, becomes the fourth or fifth goal kicker for the Pearsdale side this afternoon. Nate, it very much looks like, mate, that uh, that Devon Meadows are just starting to drop their heads a little. Uh, they can't, very, very flat. Yeah, they, they can't let this one go. Uh, it's only the first quarter, mate. There's still plenty of footy to play. Exactly right. Another three quarters after this. Oh, he has been fantastic in the ruck, though. He has. That's a massive duel, him versus Mitchell in the ruck. They're just not working, to, working for him, though. And the siren couldn't come quick enough. Quarter time couldn't come quick enough for Devon Meadows. It is quarter time, so... Uh, it is quarter time, 27, 28 minutes that quarter went for, and uh, it, it was all Pearsdale. Eight goals, three, 51 to two behinds. We'll go to a break, and we'll be back with the first quarter wrap. You're listening to RPP, the voice of Peninsula Football. It's the weekday, brought to you by Jim's Test and Tag. <laughs> and let's see if the good old-fashioned spray from Devon Meadows coach Brent Clinic pays off in the second quarter. They need to start well. They've yet to kick a goal in 30 minutes of footy, or 29 minutes of footy in fact. Pearsdale, 8 goals, 3.51 at quarter time. So uh, great work there by Nate, listening to coaches as well. Goal kickers at quarter time, of course. Daniel Murray kicked three in that first quarter. Matty Vag two, one each to Pat Cad, Andrew Douglas, and to Gavin Becker. So... Uh, Tully, they need to kick one in the first 30 seconds. Great uh, position we are in here uh, this afternoon. As up they go in the middle of the ground. Great work there by O'Hare. Tapped it out there to Watson. Watson to Doria. So a couple of key playmakers have uh, got their hands on the footy early in that second quarter. Diving on top of it there was Dylan Mitchell. Couldn't come out with it. Pierce Dale's defence able to work it out again. Good work. Little kick into the centre of the ground. Great work O'Hare. Fantastic. Was able to cause the spoil. Pat Cad got it. Gave it to Fortnum. Fortnum left foot kick up towards half forward. But there he is Watson. 
chips back and uh, Watson takes the mark. And they've got to move the ball. They do, quickly. Fortnum wasn't his greatest kick, so Chrissy Fortnum's able just to chop it off. Little handball out. Going without it there was Frost. Kicks it up towards uh, now half, uh, half forward. The wing position could have got a free kick for in the back. The umpire said the ball was held to him. And he'll come in and bounce the ball. Wing position out of sight of the ground. Mitchell got his hands on the footy. Great work right. running through there was Armitage. Showed some real intent. Oh. Gave it to Dylan Mitchell. He almost got his head ripped Absolutely. off. Plays on immediately. Wanted to play on immediately. The umpire uh, says give it back to him. So Mitchell's got the footy, kicks it to the point of the square. He needs a mark here. Great lead, yes. great mark. That's much better than much from better. Devin Moved the ball quickly, showed some intent. And Troy Ost, who uh, lit the place up the last time we were here against Somerville. He did, tell Give Ost. him an opportunity, one out uh, short pass, and he doesn't miss many. No, absolutely. So that's wonderful play, Nate Custison. Just what the coach would have wanted at exactly. time. They've started, like a house on fire. Yeah. They've, they've had that rev and they've started really well. And this is exactly what happened last time, Towie. First quarter, up, second quarter, different side. They needed a oh. goal, didn't they? But uh, couldn't finish the good work. But uh, the intent was Encouraging good. Encouraging signs. It was. Yeah, yeah build absolutely. Up build absolutely. Up build up was there. Yep. Now what they need to do, and I can't um, can't stress it enough, is they need to lock it in now. But it doesn't seem it's going to happen. No, they don't. It's a little handball out. Gave it yeah. to Fortnum. He's getting plenty of the footy now. Gave it to Pat Cad. Back to Fortnum. Fortnum goes around the wing position. Kicks it up towards half forward. That was better play there by the defenders from uh, from Devon Meadows. Chipping in, trying to get the ball there. It was Boland. He got one around the head. The umpire gave him the benefit of the doubt. That's the pierced out defender. And the ball will be thrown up. 50 metres. Out from Pearsdale's goal. Benny Cad kicks it towards the point of the square. Out comes oh, Murray. Put fists it away defense. by him. Hall was front and centre. The ball went over him. Great tackle there by Fortnum there on Brett Armitage. And the umpire will come in and bounce. Around 40 metres out from Pearsdale's goal. There's a bit of how do you do in there, which won't hurt things. Uh, Armitage not happy with the treatment that Foggy was giving him. Good play there by O'Hare. Gave a little handball out. It's really fired up Armitage, hasn't it, as the, the ball gets kicked out, but straight into the hands of Ben Mitchell, who will send Pearsdale into attack again. A leading kick out to Vag. Got one in the yeah. back. The umpire said it was there. Two hands in the back from uh, Paddy Harms and Matthew Vag, who's already kicked two goals this afternoon, will have a shot from about 40 metres, 45 metres out. The Panthers at this stage, Toey, can't uh, can't afford to be undisciplined. And uh, that's all that was then, was uh, beaten to the ball and um, showed his frustrations by putting the two hands dead set in the middle of his back. He did. So, uh, McAvag has already kicked two, as we said. Kicked two goals, one this afternoon. This wouldn't be the start that Devon Meadows no. wanted. They miss a goal at their end and... Uh, that's a lovely kick off the boot though, look at that. The umpire oh. has not moved a muscle. A oh. push out there on Callum Yeah, like it could be an interference push there. Goal. No, the umpire doesn't want any part of it. Gives him the benefit of the doubt. So that's a goal to Pearsdale. They move on to nine goals, three. 57 to three behind. You're listening to RPP, the voice of Peninsula Football. The RPP iPhone iPad app has arrived. Now you can hear your favourite programs no matter where you are. Direct from your iDevice. To download the free app, go to the RPP FM website at rppfm.com.au and follow the download links. Or go to the Apple App Store and type Back in the centre of the ground, the intent has been better in this second quarter, but there is again Fortnum, he's just dominating, is it? Sweeping oh, handball was terrific. Chase. That was Dean Jansen, got his handball, the umpire said play on Fortnum again, gives it to Hensby, Hensby to Ben Cad, back to Hensby, here's another one, is it? Little chip pass was lovely, uh, wasn't so lovely, in fact it was over the head oh. of Murray, but Hensby follows up his own play, right foot snap, through for a minor score. Gee, that was good to watch. That was just really full movement of the football there. Very there much you can do. No, nah, no, nah, there isn't, Nate. Very impressive football. And Oops. the Panthers, unfortunately, just can't um, can't keep up. They can't as the ball comes out towards the members' stand. Uh, interference there. They wanted some interference. That was uh, Devon Meadows. The umpire said, I'll have none of that. So it was good defensive work by Murray against Ryan Talbot. Nate gets his first position with one uh, one kick just there in front of the commentary position. So O'Hare gets front position, handball out uh, was good, gave it to Heath Black, Heath Black kicks it up towards the wing, Matt White went hard at the footy, great tackle, uh, two on one there, no hope. Uh, we'll pick up that player on the deck, might be Talbot, no. 
Yeah, it is. It Ryan is. Talbot got brought to ground. So Ben Mitchell O'Hare doing battle once again. Mitchell was able to use his body strength on that occasion. They try and dive on top of it. Heath Black's in there. Hensby gets a little handball out. They dive on top of it. Plenty of numbers around the footy. Great work there by, uh, it was uh, Travis Saw. Cad's got it now. Goes inside 50 Fortnum. So uh, he's dominating in the middle of the ground, but then he goes forward, leading forward, and takes a mark about 40 metres out from goal. And there's not much you can do about Fortnum. He's very quick off the mark and uh, just just leads perfectly. Are we taking stats on him this quarter? He, what's he had this quarter, mate? Yeah, he's had six. He's been so, sensational. Yeah. So Chris Fortnum, 40 metres out from goal, directly in front. Hasn't kicked a goal this afternoon. He'll be goal kicker number six if he can put it through. He's usually a lovely kick of the footy, Chris Fortnum. On this occasion, he's pushed it across the face. So uh, saved once again, Devon Meadows, 9-5, 59. Devon Meadows three behinds. So it'll be Old Meadow to bring the ball back into play. Decides to go straight up the guts. That's a lovely looking kick. It was one on four on that occasion, but it was pinpoint. So Watson's got the footy. This is where they're falling down though. Across half back is that next kick. A little kick to Ash Adams. Uh, should have taken the mark. Didn't take it. Andrew Knight's got it now. Sweeping handball out. He's able to follow up his work though. That was good work. Uh, on that occasion from Andrew Douglas. The ball gets sent to the centre-half forward. Fortnum's got it. Kick up towards full forward. Daniel Murray comes screaming out. Adam Avard lays a shepherd. Was good work. Caleb Foggy goes in there. Puts on the afterburners. Right-hand handball in. Gave it to Hensby. Hensby oh. back to Foggy. Hensby's got to go back in there and retrieve the footy himself. He does so, but the umpire said he held the ball. And the free kick will come down here to the youngster in Darcy Atkins. Goes in short, finds O'Hare. O'Hare wants to play on. He does so now. That's better play. A little handball off to Bower. Bower uses his pace. Keep going. He got a tackle there, there by Tommy Frost. Running down, but he followed up the footy beautifully. Kick the goal, son. Uh, he can't. Sprayed gee, it. That was exciting. It was terrific it was work. He hit, he hit this, this ground up last year, Bower, Bower with his speed. He's just a really quick... Um, player and that was fantastic just lacked that finish Absolutely. would have been great to see youngster Kane Springs comes onto the ground too for his first run this afternoon so a couple of under 18s being brought up for this match in Darcy Atkins and Kane Springs Darcy Atkins of course winning the medal in the interleague uh, under 17 game some three weeks back so good to see him playing senior footy so uh, taking the mark down there is Dwayne Bowes goes out wide looking for his teammate finds him not sure where to go here they are. That's Travis Saw, I think it is. Kicks the ball up the line, up towards the wing position. Punched away. They've got the numbers at the fall of the ball, though. That's Dwayne Bowes. Little handball out. Gives it to the runner. That's Dylan Hall. Sold some candy on the wing position. Comes in board now. Lovely kick to Matthew oh. Vag. He made him lead into that space. And uh, Vag was running in a different direction. A little handball off was good to Pat Cad. Pat Cad flying shot at goal. Wasn't his best effort. And it uh, goes out of bounds on the full, in fact. So not sure that he's even expecting to get that ball as Callum O'Hare grabs the ball defensive 50 after the kick in. Another little handball. Comes back to O'Hare. He's working beautifully here. He's got to try and beat a couple. He's in some strife. Tries to square the ball up. Foggy can't pick it up. Gets burst off the footy. That was great work there by young Kane Springs. Gets the footy now. Tries to little handball out. They dive on top of him. Douglas is right there as well. And uh, Jace Henderson just asserting some authority there with those massive biceps. <laughs> Callum O'Hare, good work there by Ash Adams. Diving on top of it, there's Craig Thorne. He'll always be in and under, trying to burrow his way out. He's still going. They pull him to the ground now, and the umpire says we'll have a ball up. Half forward, four-peer style. They lead 9-5-59 to three behinds. We've played eight and a half minutes in the second quarter. Tackling intensity definitely lifted from Devon Meadows. So uh, going in hard there was Thorne once again. Paddy Gamble's in there having a shot in the ruck now, giving Ben Mitchell a spell. He's been very, very good in this uh, first quarter and a half as Ben Mitchell. Plenty of numbers around the footy again. Gamble was terrific. Good work by O'Hare. Got a kick out. How many, uh, thanks to SBI, quarries has he had? That's his 12th for the game. 12th for the game for Callum O'Hare. So he's doing his job, no doubt about that, the big fella. They dive on top of it in the centre of the ground. Fortnum's in there. Uh, also in there... Uh, I think he's Tommy Cotton. 
So up they go, Ash Adams doing the ruck, but that was too easy out of the congestion once again. Gives it to Pat Cad. Pat Cad pops it to the point of the square. Terrific work, got to be a free kick to yeah. Alex Doria. Held, held, Towie. He was held on two on that occasion. Great work there by Shaw Pass. Inside 50s in the second quarter. Pierce Dale leading 8-2. Two. Eight to two. Inside 50s as we expected. Uh, Andrew Albedo goes in short. It was a lovely kick. So still got possession, but they're deep in defensive 50. This is going to be this kick has got to be good going across the face of the goal. It was. Kane Springs has got it. The A 17-year-old. He's in some trouble here. Uses the over, use his speed. Kicks the ball up towards half forward, but not a great kick. He had nobody to kick to. No, he didn't. Half forward's not working hard enough, so it ends up with Chris Fortnum. He's got plenty of time and space. Goes in short. Was a great kick and found his coach in Ben Cad. How many for Ben Cad? We don't have, we're not doing Ben We're not Cad. doing Ben Cad, we're doing uh, Ben, uh, Pat, aren't we? Yep. Uh, taking the mark there is Mitch Smith. How many for Chris Fortnum? Chris Fortnum has had nine this oh. quarter and 13 for the game. 13, yeah. So uh, there's Pat Cad again taking a contested mark. It's a lovely mark. Was a great mark, Tally. Just, just uh, Mitchell Smith going in uh, in short there, and um, yeah, fan really, really good by uh, by Cad. Then it was fantastic work by Pierce Holly because they've double teamed Murray in the square, so to lower the eyes and just find that option was really good for him. Yeah. Ball. So Paddy Cad has already kicked one goal this afternoon. It's a big run up, Tally. It is. There'll be a lot, a lot of up and under with the kick too. As the ball comes, he starts it right, works it back nicely. Goal. He's kicked a goal. That's goal number 10 to Pearsdale. They lead 10 goals, 5 a 65. Leading Devon Meadows, 3 behind. You're listening to RWP, the voice of Peninsula Football. Hi, I'm Michael Moss. For all the latest on what's happening in the sporting world, join me and Nick Turner every Saturday morning from 10.30 to 12 on the all-new RWPFM 98.7 FM, Sporting News and Views. Hi, this is Megan Gale, and when I'm on the peninsula, I love listening to RWPFM. Oh yes, and it's not uh, it's me, very easy me, to get very, me. very excited about uh, Migo, as we call it. Migo. Oh, yeah. Megzi, I prefer. Meg Megzi, do you? Megzi, uh, yeah. Migo, when uh, she's looking at me oh, me. with those lovely eyes. Uh, getting the ball there is Tommy Cotton in the centre of the ground. He got brought to ground, and uh, it's all pierced out at the moment. 10 goals, 5.65, Devon Meadows, 3 behinds. We've played 12 minutes in the second quarter. As the ball's in the centre of the ground, they dive on top of it. The umpire surely will come in and bounce again. Oh, he will. Uh, so on the bottom of the... Pa that, that's a free kick to Dylan Hall. Not sure what Hold that was ball. for. Hold, Hold the, the ball. ball Swings out wide there towards Andrew Douglas. Has already kicked one goal this afternoon. Fortnum. Got a tangle of legs there with Andrew Old Meadow. And uh, the umpire didn't fall for it. And the ball rolls over the line and out of bounds. Old Meadow did a great job then to be able to keep up the pace then. Uh, remembering last time when we ventured out this way, we gave Old Meadow the, uh, the uh, gold logie. We did. The massive trophy that it is. Biggest award in football is our trophy. Most of definitely. The match. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a weapon. It is a weapon. It has been known to injure people. So we're back in the centre, we're, uh, what, about 50 metres out? There's a bit of how do you do going on there. Just got to concentrate on winning the footy, I reckon, uh, yeah. Devon Meadows. Yeah, Don't worry right, about Tally. any of the tough stuff as uh, Adams goes to ground. Brought a player down with him too. Didn't like uh, that. Was uh, It was Daniel Murray. He wasn't happy with the treatment that he got on that occasion. He came off second best, Adams, is uh, going Ooh. up before acceptances. Could have been a free kick. Good work there to fall the ball. Uh, Baumgartner, I think it was, who kicked it up towards the wing position. Darcy Atkins, he's under all sorts of pressure there. Travis Shaw gets it. Little handball out. Has to double up. Good work on that occasion by Talbot. Dived on top of the ball, trying to keep it in. The heat's just started to turn up in this game. There's a free kick. It's going towards Baumgartner. He'll get the ball in the centre of the ground. Taken high. Plays it on immediately. Goes up the line. Going hard at there. Good work by, uh, is that Aust? Up there it is. A little sweeping handball towards Doria. Not his greatest effort, though. Straight down the his opponent's head and it ends up there with Ben Cad sweeping handball to Dylan Hall who's got the ball on the wing position goes towards centre half forward Vag comes oh. out stepping in taking a terrific mark there was Pat Harms that was great work they should lift from that comes out there towards Watson Watson's got somebody inside it's the young bloke I think no it's not it's Paddy Boland goes and tries to square it up it was an optimistic kick you're in all sorts of trouble there as Jace Henderson got brought to ground there by Chris Fortnum and the <laughs> Very heavily, Tally. He did. A driving tackle of was. 
wants to come uh, to the member side to Douglas, but the umpire said no. You have to go back behind your mark. So Chris Fortnum, how many in this quarter, Geordie? This is his tenth right now. Tenth possession in the second quarter for Chris Fortnum, Geordie. King providing all the stats this afternoon thanks to SBI Quarry. Marked focus scoreboard. Looks like this 65 playing three. They go into attack again. Good work there by Alex Doria. Last line of defence. Handball wasn't great. Put his teammate in. Heath Black under all sorts of pressure. But uh, Stefan Borbgartner gets a handball out to Kerr and they work the ball uh, momentarily outside. Then now they're back inside defensive 50. Alex Doria swings it out to the member side of the ground. Now they do. And through Jace Henderson. So they've had eight possessions inside defensive 50. Now they move the ball up the ground. Baumgartner is starting to get his hand on it a little bit. Takes the mark right in front of our commentary position. I get the switch, Towie. They're doing it a fair bit, but uh, they just haven't got numbers over the other side of the ground to be able to move the ball that quickly, which is allowing Pearsdale to, uh, to man up and, and effectively contest the ball. So uh, it was kicked out of bounds on the full there. So they're just maintaining possession. I think that uh, is Benny Mitchell on the last line who takes the mark. A little kick out towards Fortnum. Got some heavy treatment after he take them, took the mark from Craig Thorne. The umpire said nothing in it. Plays on. Goes up towards half forward. Not the greatest kick. Tom Cotton gave it to O'Hare. Sweeping handball down to Talbot. Talbot on the member's wing. Just pops it up hoping for something to come of it. That's a terrific effort by Tom Cotton to go for it. Couldn't get it though. Comes towards Atkins to Thorne. Thorne goes inside uh, forward line now but chipping back and taking the mark is Matt White they go straight and long again McAvag competes had a few to beat they've got some numbers back here Baumgartner it is again sweeping handball was good gave it to the youngster in Atkins another one back to Baumgartner this looks a lot better a great kick up towards yeah. full four was terrific and I reckon that might be Ost up there who's taken the mark <laughs> really needs to you pick to up work. that number eight up there yeah, it is Troy Ost is that do right? We've only had one shot at goal, uh, short pass in this quarter, and it was from the boot of Troy Ost, so he needs to kick this one, important kick. <laughs> Absolutely. But Being able to move the ball like that is definitely what the Panthers need to be doing, and hopefully it uh, results in a goal and uh, puts them on the board for major. Transition football's beautiful, what they then. Good yeah, skills. it was, Nate, it was. Uh, they're definitely capable of doing it, that's for sure. So Troy Ors coming in for goal now. They need this one desperately. He gets a lot of up and under with his kicks, but he's pushed it across the face through for another minor score. So they're second behind for the quarter. They're four behinds. Pearsdale, 10 goals, 5.65. That's on the marked focus scoreboard. We've paid 17 minutes in the second quarter. So they're working the ball out. They've done it very, very easily, working their ball out all afternoon out of their defence. Matty White goes in there, lays a tackle. I reckon he might have got his opponent a little bit high. So Pierce, uh, Devon Meadows will take the free kick. It's Tom Cotton. He's having a real crack. Needed to be a good kick. Goes into the centre of the ground. It was on that occasion. Gave it towards Heath Black, who goes up the wall. Oh! Oh, oh, an absolute <laughs> screamer there was Ryan Talbot. Almost got his head ripped off there was uh, Luke Murray. The defence, uh, good work there by Douglas. A little handball out. It's uh, Avard, I think, in fact, who's got the ball. He's going to use his pace. He's got great foot skills usually. That was no exception on that occasion to Carl and Foggy, who took the mark at half forward for the Dales. Sweeping handball goes toward Hensby. Hensby goes inside 50, looking for oh. Pat Cad, and as easy as you like, just pulled it in with just the one juke. Plucked it out of the air, didn't he? He did. Very impressive. How many for Hensby this quarter, Geordie King? He's had five. That's thanks to SBI, SBI Quarry. Watch him, watch him, watch him. So Paddy Cad's already kicked two goals this afternoon. He can kick a lot further than we give him credit for. This is another lovely kick. How's that? How is that for a goal? That is goal number three for Pat Cad. How many possessions has he had this afternoon, Geordie King? He has had 18. 18 possessions. Wow, and great. he's had nine in this second quarter. A magnificent performance. He's booted three goals. Clearly the best player on the ground as it stands. 11 goals, 5.71 to four behinds. Nate Custerson. He is the defending Logie champion from this ground. Pierce Devon last year, Pat Cad. So shaping up as a, another winner of the RWP. Weapon award that we like to call it. It is a <laughs> weapon. But 18 disposals and three goals and a half of football ain't bad by anyone's standards. Stands 1.2 metres, solid goal. <laughs> the RWP match of the <laughs> player of the round. I think there's a bit of white gold in there too, Tell oh, yes, Just uh, highlighting the uh, the shorts and the and the tops. Correct. Very impressive.
Fair bit of humping going on with the players as well. Oh, wow, well, yes. The ball goes up towards full forward again. A little uh, handball comes out to Dory. He gave it straight to his opponent, Caleb Foggy. He's got the ball. Went without it. Old Meadow. Oh, little handball to Ash bear. Adams. Ha Ash Adams just handballed to anyone in particular on that occasion. Not sure who number 45 is. We're going to pick that up because we don't have him in the record as Pat Cat unloads from 50 oh. metres. And it's bounced through for goal number four, if you don't mind. Fantastic effort then. 12 goals, 5.77. Pearsdale, Devon Meadows, four behinds. That's their fourth for the quarter. Pearsdale just able to lock it in then, not letting the ball out. And just their, their forward pressure, um, centre pressure around the ground is just phenomenal. Not Panthers not being able to do much about it at this stage. Who's number 45 down there, uh, Nate Custerson? Uh, Todd Simons, first game oh, of the he's year. wearing 45, not 43. Here you go. We'll give him the bums rush uh, there. I'll have to word them up for that. Yeah, you will. <laughs> More number 43 last week. As the ball goes up in the centre of the ground, O'Hare versus Mitchell. It was O'Hare who won it again, but Mitchell was good at ground level. Was able just to tap the ball forward. They've got some numbers out here. It's Baumgartner again. How many has he had in this second quarter? He's had seven now. Seven for Baumgartner. So he's really lifted his work rate in this second quarter as it goes towards Cotton. Cotton goes to half forward looking oh. for Talbot. He just overran it. Allowed Luke Murray to pick it up. Gave it to White. White didn't take possession of it. Hensby it is. Gives a handball there towards Mitchell. Mitchell goes goes in short and easy as you like they work the ball around as well Mitch Smith goes in short who's on Dylan Hall I'm not sure as the ball goes up towards full forward Murray's got three to beat he flies now punched away from him players at the fall of the ball they need to get there in number Simons is down there gets it now gives it to Hall to Cad this is Ben Ben a waltz in this is number 13 oh. hit the woodwork <laughs> very lucky for the Panthers then 12 goals 678 Pearsdale, Devon Meadows, four behinds. We've played 21 minutes into the second quarter. Daniel Murray with three. Pat Cad with four. Matthew Vag with two for Pearsdale as they bring the ball out towards the defensive 30. And Alex Doria takes the mark. How many for Alex Doria this quarter? He's, this is his fifth. Fifth possession for Alex Doria. He was quiet in the first mm. quarter though, just with the one. So he goes up the line now. This needs to be a good kick. There's all pierced, Allen, and uh, easy as you like taking the mark there is Travis Saw. Goes across the face, was lovely. Had a player there in Ben Mitchell. Plays on, little kick inside to Foggy, and Caleb Foggy takes the mark about 45 out. Adam Avard wanted the ball. That's a terrific kick in short, isn't it? And it's who is it? Oh, I guess who it is. Uh, the bloke, I uh, know, I thought it was uh, Chris Hensby, but it's Gavin Becker, Becker who's already kicked a goal this afternoon. Lovely kick, great work by the forward line again for Pearsdale. Absolutely. Working very well as a unit. They are, they've got a number of options in there. Uh, he's pushed it across the face through for a minor score, so they move on to 12 goals, 7 79 to 4 behinds. Played 22 minutes into the second quarter. No. What, what can Devon do to counter this? Oh, what, what are the answers? Oh, they've just got to, they've just got to put more pressure on. They're more pressure. Yep, their, intensity. Their, midfield, their intensity was terrific in the first five minutes, Nate. But uh, you look at the players; they're getting their hands on the footy again. Fortnum, Hoare, same players, same players. Yeah, players. So they're just got to tighten up on those blokes. They're, the midfielders for uh, Devon Meadows just not working hard enough. Yep. Good work there by Chin. A long way from home, but he takes the mark. He wanted 50 metre penalty. The umpires took uh, said, "I'll have none of that." Standing the mark there is Toddy Simons. Jace Henderson's uh, trying to allow him to play on as a kick uh, towards half back. The uh, just overrunning the football there was Baumgartner, and the ball uh, stacks on the mill at half forward for Pearsdale. Eight scoring shots to four in this second quarter. Pierce Dale's way. Look at the numbers over the back again. Yeah. As easy as you like. Matty White can just stand there and have a good look and see what he wants to kick to. Kicks it up towards half forward. They went for the punch. Comes down towards Ben Cad. Left foot snap to goal. Wasn't great. And he sprayed it across the face. Or not across the face, but to the near side. Member side of the ground over the line and out of bounds on the full. In answer to your question earlier, Nate, I think um, I think the players are actually wondering too, mate, what they can do to uh, to try and claw back because it's um, it's not looking good at the moment. 74 points and it's not even half time. Yeah, it's tough. Going to be tough work. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, Old Meadow's got the ball. Last line of defence. This needs to be a really good kick. It was great work. Oh, oh. yeah, I thought he took that mark. Oh, little oh. handball was missed. Becker, right foot snap. Why wasn't that a mark? Did it ball hit the deck? 
just having a look at the replay screen brought to us today by SBI Quarries, Towie, and um, yeah, the ball hit the deck, hence the umpire said uh, play on. So, so uh, unfortunate looks, looks like there. a clean mark to me yeah. from here. Oh, I agree with that for sure. And it's lovely that little the, the monitor that RWP's rolling with this year. Very Absolutely. It's oh. sensational for us. Look, makes our job, say. Nate, so much easier. And again, brought to us by uh, SBI Quarries. Fantastic little setup here. Marked focus scoreboard 13 785 to four behinds. So uh, the Panthers yet to kick a goal. They've had uh, two shots a goal in the first quarter, two shots a goal in the second quarter. It's been a tough day. Mitchell just got rid of his opponent. Hensby got slung without the footy. Umpire said play on. Sweeping handball fan Gavin Kerr goes towards the half forward line. Looking after, looking for uh, Darcy there. Darcy Atkins. Pushed, given a free kick. And Atkins, uh, yes, got the free kick against Matty White. So Atkins. It's been pretty good since he come on the ground. Left foot kick, kicks it up towards half forward. Ben Mitchell's just standing under it. Too much tall timber there. He's able just to shrug off some tackles, give it out there. He's able to follow up his own work too. Gave it to Luke Murray. Luke Murray's got some players up the line. Wants to go to Hoare. Or also there was Tom Frost. Finally coming oh. out of it there was Matt White. Wasn't a great kick though. Out of bounds in the full. And the ball was kicked out of bounds on the full. So there'll be a free kick and it'll go towards Gavin Kerr. So Kerr's got the ball right in front of the coach's boxes. Goes in short. Oh, dropped a mark. Oh, he should have taken. No. That was uh, the young bloke in Kane Springs, but he was good Did enough well. to butter up. Did, yeah. He didn't panic under that That's pressure. Right, Kicked it up there towards Callum O'Hare, but Ben Mitchell just too far, too strong in the air for him. And he's able to work the ball out. Hensby gets it again. Little handball there to Jansen. Jansen kicks the ball to the centre of the ground. They've got some numbers here, though. Devon Meadows. Patrick Harms kicks the ball inside 50. Devon Meadows need to kick a goal for right. this. Of Troy Austin. Kick off the ground and he kicks the goal. The first one for the Panthers. And they celebrate too and so they should. One goal, 4-10 to 13-7-85. We've played 26 minutes in the second quarter. You're listening to RWP, the voice of Peninsula Football. When you're working in the garden, you need tough, reliable tools that won't let you down. That's why Hastings mowers stock quality brands like Honda, Echo, Toro, Cox, Husqvarna and Shindawa. With a huge range of mowers, brush cutters, chainsaws, shredders, pumps and generators in store. For quality equipment and excellent service, call into our sponsor, Hastings Mowers Superstore at 2013 Frankston Flinders Road, Hastings. Ardham, PFM sponsor. Inside 50s uh, this quarter, how many for Devon Meadows? Devon Meadows have had five to Pierce Dale's 20. Wow. And there's the siren to stop. Half time, 26 and a half minutes this quarter went for, and it was all Pierce Dale yet again. They added five goals, four to one goal, two in that quarter. We'll go to a break and we'll be with the half time wrap. You're listening to RWP, the voice of Peninsula Football. It's the weekend. 